Dr. Patricia McConnell here to talk about understanding your uh, your pets. And I watched uh, with great interest, you did a story this week with Mark Cain, and you dealt with, among other things, anxiety and how to spot anxiety right. in, in your dog. Yeah. Go over some of those, which you yeah. should, you should or look fear. for. Or signs, fear. Subtle Fears. signs yeah. of fear. You know, and fear is... Fear is a reaction to to something right in front of you that frightens you, and so, so yeah, learning to read those are really important, and mm -hmm. it's not rocket science. Look for things like a little tongue flick, a little okay. tongue comes out, like mm -hmm. some people call it lip licking. So, yeah. a little tongue flick. Go in a vet's clinic office and sit in the lobby, oh. and you'll see all these dogs going. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, so that's one. Another one is when, is when you reach towards an animal, mm -hmm. or you even say something to them. And they'll just turn his head away, or her head away, mm -hmm. and just look away from you. And it's really subtle. And if you if you're paying attention, it's really obvious. But a lot of times, you know, us we're not yeah, right. We're not. <laughs> you know, going stiff is another one, and this could prevent a lot of dog bites. So if someone's reaching towards a dog, and the dog is, <laughs> mm -hmm. and then as the hand gets closer, that mouth shuts, and the dog's mouth shut, and it goes still and silent. That is a very nervous, tense dog, and you want to take your hand away mm -hmm. <laughs> and honor that. The dog is telling you, do not bother me right now. We have a dog. We have an Australian Shepherd, and I just got a good question in my ear from our producer, Leah, and, and our dog does this a lot. When she yawns, and I'll say to Joy, yeah. oh, I think that's her irritated yawn. Like, with your, uh, I'm glad your producer brought you know, that up because that's another, is that another? another behavior mm -hmm. that's often believed to be a sign of low-level discomfort mm -hmm. um, and so yes yeah, that's also something you'll see in vet clinics a lot and often you ask a dog to do something if this happens so often people will say my dog knows to sit and stay when I ask him to and I'll ask him to sit and stay the dog will lip lick yawn turn his head away oh God, and yes. basically say don't make me sit and stay yeah. by that other dog he's been sending me dirty looks all oh, morning yeah. long <laughs> I don't want to sit by him he's telling me not to mm -hmm. so yawning is another sign um, yeah Dogs, oh, I and I, I think, and correct me if I'm wrong, I think you said is when dogs don't necessarily like being patted on the head. They don't. They don't. I, do, I find that. I, oh, I Well, it's right there. You know, it's yeah. right there. We pat little children on the head, too. They don't mm. like it either, you know. <laughs> Most of them don't bite, luckily. <laughs> <laughs> but it, sometimes it's useful to be anthropomorphic. And if you think about it, if some monster gorilla that was 20 feet mm -hmm. tall put his big paw over your head and then yeah, it disappeared sure. behind your head. That'd be scary, right? Mm -hmm. Dogs want to be able to smell and see your hand. Okay. So you can put it under their chin. I won't scratch your chin, but it's a nice chin. Nice. I won't scratch my chin. Scratch chin, mm -hmm. scratch here. Let them see your hand and let them smell the hand. Don't have the hand, like, disappear over their head. And don't go pat, pat, pat on top of their head because, you know what, it apparently doesn't feel good to them. Mm -hmm. Actually, people should try this at home. Go pat, pat, pat on top of the dog's head and watch. watch Most the of the dogs, their head will turn away like, oh. ugh. I don't like that. Well, listen, you can learn more. If you if you want to learn more about uh, dog anxiety and whatever, you can uh, you can uh, talk with Patricia. It's, it's a web chat. It starts right after the noon show at, at 1230. And you can log on to madisonmagazine.com, madisonmagazine.com, and ask uh, the doctor your pet questions between 1230 and 130. All right. Very yeah, good. it'll be fun. And pick up Madison Magazine because you'll find Patricia and Willie on the front cover, right? Willie's the star. Yeah, she is. Yeah, Willie's the one who looks best. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> All right, Patricia, thank you very much. Thanks, Rob. Thanks,